Syrians hand shake violently to when bullets are zipping by them. Yet they plod on, soldier on, despite this. What madness, he asks, drives them to do so? It is no madness at all, or if it is, it is an inspired one. He does it because he must. That is his job, that is his obligation. It is his job and duty to give the people to know. He is compelled willingly or grudgingly, enthusiastically or fearfully, to cover stories however sensitive, however dangerous. He finds at his back the devil in the form of that fundamental tenet of democracy, which says the public has a right to know. And contrary to rumor, what we don't know can hurt you, Conrad Video says. That is the service he provides, risking life and limb so that the public may know. That is the obligation he fulfills, demanding to know so that the people may know. So those are the words of Conrad Video. He says it so eloquently. And now let me go to, um, in closing, I've been back at work after serving a, um, and well, that was well covered by uh, the media as well, after serving a three-month suspension for, uh, well, not following um, guidelines. Like um, Conrad says, you know, we're human and journalists are not infallible. And uh, I had accepted accountability for what I did. And I'm back at work. And um, as a journalist, our job is to hold public officials accountable. And that is why I had no doubt that I had to be accountable for my actions and accept the punishment or sanction that ABS-CBN had meted on me. And I um, resume my job with the same fervor and the same passion as the day when the, um, our escorts, I believe, had told me that instead of giving us an interview, they were kidnapping us for ransom. So I'm ready to accept your questions and, um, uh, well, you, you know, there have been some criticism about uh, my adventure in Sulu, and uh, there were those who thought that um, why there were those who criticized why I had to go there, and uh, I, I can think of anything. Again, the words of Conrad de Quiroz, uh, and to eloquently describe what well, the I does. So I'm ready for your questions. I'll also move to the sofa. Since I've been covering uh, Mindanao conflict only um, that for that Sulu incident. She's been there since North Cabato and all the other Mindanao areas. Actually, since the beginning of my career, um, almost 25 years. Well, I've been covering Mindanao. I was, uh, I was.